hello everyone welcome back and today we are going to see coding guides in the javascript this is a very important part also because uh, this is not related with your logical syntax in javascript but this will make your code how neat and clean you are writing your code what should be the styling and all so that we need we will see today so if you are using visual studio code just type it here and here you will get the code formatter so this code formatter i have already installed that's why here install button is not coming so you see if you have not installed you will get one install button like this so downside you can see here uh, this prettier is installed so automatically for me html javascape css automatically getting formatted now suppose you don't have a javascript sorry you don't have a visual studio code or any advanced editor then how you are going to achieve so that also we will see uh, in we have here html so how in the plain editor i will just show you how you are writing your html then javascript then css codes and uh, try to make this a standard always whenever you are doing anywhere coding so first part it comes with the html and then again html close tag so this is the start phase where we start our html okay so now when you write the html html contains head and then head close and whenever you are writing one child always give here one space then again how it will come body then body close now so your head section will contain again the title and then my page whatever you want the title and then again the body part it will contain your data so suppose h2 is there h1 is 2 for the heading purpose welcome to my page so see this is the way you need to write one html line of code so always this gapping requires now uh, same thing i'm going to show into the editor also visual studio editor so when you are going to visual studio editor and you see we have a, a first lecture only i shown you that how we can generate automatically this one so our visual studio code have a smart engine that uh, auto automatically generate this because we have already installed uh, the libraries for this that's why so now uh, if I remove this one space you see head part if I remove this space and if I remove everything and if I select this and here right click and just you see format the selection so if you do the format selection again you see one space automatically came one uh, row here also one extra row came empty row and here also one empty row came so this is the standard guys that HTML is following and same if you are following it will be good same applicable for the JavaScript so now I'll show you for the JavaScript suppose I am writing one program called uh, I'm, I want to print one range so suppose I have a function and I have a print range function so here I want num I want to pass a num1 then num2 this two value I'll pass and this is going to print me so print sorry i'll do the for loop let i equal to num1 then i less than num2 i plus plus or i can do console dot log i and i will just close the function so if i write something like this also still it works if somebody write like this also still it works but what is the proper way that i will show you so let me show you the 
let me call this function print and then range and then here i will pass 5 to 10 i want to print this range so whenever you are writing any code first thing when you are you need to categorize suppose you are defining a function then there should be a uh, one structure so if, uh, while reading only by the name only i should come to know okay this is a function so either you use any prefix suffix anything that's up to you only there is no hard rule for this so now i'm doing the print range and here you see if some i'm not giving a space this is not a correct way so you need to keep one space then uh, some developer will be like they will always put the curly braces downside and some will be just it will save one extra space and here also you give one space this is a good way when you are defining the for loop just here after i one space and then here one space already there here one space is already there here one space here one space okay and now this part will come with the one tab and then when again this part is also inside the loop so this should be also in one tab if you are want to give because here single line is there so you want to give give that uh, bracket curly brace or if you want to ignore you can ignore this so see this is the perfect way to write a function okay so but here again you see this one so this part again one space will be there then only your code looks a bit neat and clean similarly if you want to do anything as styling css as styling so that time you are defining for suppose uh, i have a body and i have in the body uh, just consider i have a container class so i will do something like this see when i press enter automatically this uh, cursor came here only it means it's telling and just i will do height 500 px then width 200 px and color just i will make red and then close so see in this automatically taken care by the notepad but this is the way you need to write and here also one space when we are defining a space a space one space so this will make you little bit more neat and clean so if you do copy this one and take to your visual studio code where you have any css yes so you see how it is automatically one extra space one extra space everywhere and after this the before the colon there is no space after the colon one space so same way you can manage here you see this is also taking working if i do right click and format selection is still intact same so if you are following this way it is well and good okay so css also we have seen and js also we have seen and html also we have seen some other thing we are going to see in our part so like a variable declaration so uh, as per my recommendation you always declare a variable with the proper naming and uh, use camel case if possible so suppose you are doing anything like let and you have anywhere bill number so just b keep small and then bill number so like this you can use and bill number is something like this so just keep the name so that while reading only by the variable name i should come to know okay this variable contains the bill number similarly function name function name also you can define function and then you give any function name which is a very suppose you want you want all the country list so what you can do get country list and when you are using this get then i'll come to know that easily okay this is a some function which is a written which is going to give me some list so here this country list i'm going to get from this function so try to use if you want to set something then use as a set so get and set way you can use or you can use like insert suppose insert insert country so i know that if it is a some operation insert country 
so i am going to add one more country in our database so something something like this so this naming matters because insert country tells i'm going to insert in database get country list is going to tell that uh, okay i'm going to get the country list from the database similarly we have a uh, actually once i will reach to the object then i will tell but still object will also contain something like i have a object equal to and this contains as a key and value pair so key and then this is the value pair so here also we will maintain uh, cam not camel case title case so if it is a key and an another again suppose like a first name so we will keep something like first one also capital and anywhere uh, if it is a uh, dividing in two name that first letter of that name also we will keep in the capital only so first name and then value so we will get something like this so object also you can define like this if you want to define any constant my recommendation will be always use capital case so suppose you want to define a pi so just use a pi equal to 3.14 so this after seeing only any capital case in your program i will come to know okay this is the one constant which i cannot change their value and then i told about curly braces also so some people write the curly braces like if and here see condition is there and then they will write extra line here so this extra one line is getting added see became 26 which we can reduce by one line 25 so this is one scenario but multiple places may come the same thing so which will reduce a lot of line if you are using like this you can do object also something like this also but it will simply occupy one extra line so okay so curly braces done then uh, object done and uh, whenever whenever you are creating a object so this is one object i told about earlier the key how you are going to define this key value will be always dynamic because value will be it can be a real name but key is in our hand and uh, which we define and here object object also you can define always with the prefix or suffix in a such a way so while uh, using i'll come to know this is object so you can use something like underscore so object and uh, if you need that uh, something like i have an object called guest detail so through this underscore i'll come to know okay this holds all the guest detail data so guys if you are following something one rule set of rule if you are following bit uh, neat and clean way which we have done here definitely your pro your program is going to come very clear neat and clean and for the future purpose also for the maintenance of the code it will be a bit useful you can make some documentation for this so we are following these are the rules uh, where all the variables name we are keeping in a title case there is no hard and fast rule for this but whatever you define just follow that one and then you share that document if any newcomers any anybody is joining there then it will be helpful for them also and uh, writing the comment also always keep it so if you are going to write any complex logic then comment always require so the, in javascript you do comment single line comment by double slash and if you want to add a multiple comment then you use a slash a star until where you want to comment again close that slash a star so this all got commented okay one more thing is there in this uh, coding guides to discuss also it's a regarding logical part it is some people will write something like suppose you have a variable let flag equal to true and how they will write the condition if flag equal to equal to true then you perform the operation so you what you will do then you perform the operation console you are logged in 
and then maybe else part is there login field okay so now if you run this you are getting the output but if already any condition it accept always true and false after the con condition will get convert into true and false so you know this true is already into the true condition then when we no need to give something like this so this is not the correct way correct way is you can just define remove this true and keep simple something like this so this is the one way now suppose again another example i will take and you have a validate number i have one function called validate a number and then i'm passing num and uh, how generally it happens if num greater than 0 then only you go here and write your statement statement 1 2 3 statement 3 up to here you are doing all the operations suppose number is not 0 then you are triggering that console.log invalid number so what is the uh, how we can do this is uh, one approach is there but you can make this one bit little bit better so uh, how we can do that one so you can do something like no need to do up to here what you can do you can if if num less than or equal to zero if num less than equal to zero then return so here only i can return the value and we are done so now what we will do we will remove this line or if you want to add this line you can add into the top only so else part completely remove and what we can do just add this line here only and this return part what i will do i will just add here only so this part will be done okay so i think uh, we are done guys and uh, we will see the next topic which we are going to see that is a uh, javascript programs so all the programs we will see one by one and uh, if you find any if you want uh, to do any program or you want to understand any logic first time i have already told you anything clarification you needed always send a mail here you will get the reply and you want to understand any logic anything you want to come in interact with me i will help you so okay then thank you guys thank you